Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I'm going to show you how to make the creamy style ต้มยำกุ้งอ่อต้มยำกุ้งน้ำข้นโอเคแต่ I promise you for the last episode I'm going to show you how to make the ต้มยำกุ้ง and the creamy style and I know a lot of people favor So the same thing with the uh, last episode with the tom yam kung nam sai. Um, I have the lemongrass. So I'm gonna show you how to pep. Look a lot of the root because the, this is how I keep them in the water. Okay, and the same thing. Remove the uh, outside pieces. Okay, until you get the inside like this. Okay, remove them all three. All right, and then open up flavor. Okay, with the uh, pasta and mortar. Or the back of your knife. Okay, open up all the favorites already, and then the cut to the big chunk. Okay, okay let's get started. So I have a three cup the chicken broth, the homemade chicken chicken broth. So um, it's uh, unsalted. Okay, so I have three cup. Okay, so we have a three cup chicken broth going. We don't have to wait until the boil. So I'm going to start adding uh, our herb. So I have a uh, three lemongrass that we uh, cut them earlier. So three lemongrass going, and I have um, a shallot. I use one big shallot. So the, all the shallot going. Okay, and also I have the cilantro stem. Of course, we use the cilantro loose for the broth, always, always, but uh, hard to find over here. Okay, I use about 10 stem. Okay, okay, and next the garangal. Okay, I use uh, about 6 slice the garangal. Alright, okay, and the, I have the 1 and a half teaspoon salt. Okay, so I'm going to put the 1 and a half teaspoon salt. And now we're gonna wait until our broth uh, come to be a little boil. So I'm gonna come and cut the chili. Okay, okay. So I'm going to crush the chili a little bit up cold. The same thing. I use a 12 Thai chili again. Okay, it is gonna be very spicy. Okay. I use the small pasta and motor because uh, I don't want to pop them until they. Um, too mochi, too small. So uh, I'm just going to open up all the spicy flavor from the chili. So I use the small pasta and mortar. Mm. The spicy from the chili already hit my nose. Mm. <laughs> it is gonna be really spicy and sour. That's uh, the way I really like the tom yum gong. Here, yeah. now I end up with the a lot of 12 Thai chili, it's just about this much that I, uh, I pile them. Okay, now I'm gonna set it on the side and we're going to come back to our tom yum soup. Now they start getting boiled and now you smell all the face herb. Oh, this is uh, your favorite um, part. Okay, now the water start getting boiled now. Um, I'm going to add uh, one Loma tomato, cut to the big chunk too. For the Loma tomato, um, just for some recipe have it and some recipe didn't put it for uh, myself. I like it. They add a little bit sweet, a little bit sour, a little bit sweet into the soup and tastes very, really, very nice. Okay, and next up to add in the cover lamb leaf. The cover lamb leaf, they usually come in like this for one leaf. Okay, I use about uh, six leaves of them, but this one I already take them out. And also cover lamb leaf, sometimes it's hard to find, so when I buy them, I actually I frozen them. This is a frozen cafe lamb leaf. If you can buy and if too much for you to use, you can frozen them. And just use your hand and grab the bottom part and then tear them out like this. They will open up a favorite better. Okay. Okay. So I put the four leaf and then I just leave a two leaf extra. I write to put on the end. Okay. So the next ingredient. Uh, Different than the tom yam gong nam sai is we have the Thai chili paste. Thai chili paste. If you cannot um, find the the already made in the jar, you can. I have the recipe to how to make a Thai chili paste. I will put the link for you below. All right. So I use the two and a half tablespoon um, Thai chili paste. They thick and they have like a chili oil. 
the oil from the chili they will make this tom yam gung the orange color flavor okay everything <laughs> they take into the bowl so put everything so two and a half tablespoon the thai chili paste go in okay so i'm gonna mix them a little bit because the chili paste um, they have a big chunk so i'm just gonna use the uh, spoon to mix them up a little bit Next, I'm going to add a mushroom, but the mushroom I use today is Chim Magic Mushroom. It's a white, look like a white little straw like this. Um, I use a four out. If I, you can find them, they come in a little package like this. You can use the normal white mushroom like, like I used in the last episode, or you can use the oyster mushroom or your favorite mushroom, but not recommend um, shiitake mushroom, okay? <laughs> okay, so, okay, I'm gonna add the mushroom now. Okay, all the mushroom go in. All right, and the mushroom is they cook really fast. So the next one I'm going to add is the shrimp. But before I put the shrimp, I will like to talk about the shrimp a little bit. For the tom yam gung nam khon or creamy style, we use the um, head on shrimp. So you have to buy with the head uh, tail on and head on. So when you uh, cut them or prepare them, they look like this. I, I use the scissor to cut the um, <laughs> the long pieces over here and then the leave the head on and just uh, remove the wing on the back okay they look like this okay so now I'm going to add the trim the trim I use 18 pieces of trim okay you can put less or put more it's up to you okay I put them all I use a lot of trim I know I use a lot of trim okay and the trim remember they cook very fast in the boiler soup like this so they cook very fast okay just have to um, be quick <laughs> and when you make the trim uh, be careful to gentle mix them so the hay did not come off okay and I try to cook them even and now the trim start to already cook about 30 seconds the trim is start already um, cook so I'm gonna add the next recipe so the trim start cooking now so I'm going to add the next ingredient the next ingredient is the, to make it Tom yum gung is creamy. It's the evaporated milk. So I have the half cup evaporated milk. Okay, not put evaporated milk too soon or too early. So the so just put like before you done. Okay, it will keep your soup is uh, creamy and you can taste more creamy. Okay, okay, just about twenty second after you add the evaporated milk and they coming to the boil again. So now, um. Our soup almost done. I'm going to turn off the heat now because I don't want the trim to get overcooked. Okay, just turn off the heat and come to the bowl and seasoning your um, tom yum soup. Okay, so my secret um, for this recipe, I like to seasoning my on the side. So I have a three tablespoon uh, fish sauce. Okay, three tablespoon fish sauce. Okay, and next I'm going to have the fresh lamb juice. I'm gonna put the four and a half tablespoon lamb juice. One, two, three, four, four and a half tablespoon lamb juice. Okay, so I use the four and a half tablespoon lamb juice. You can add more sour if you want it more sour. Okay, next I'm gonna add the 12 Thai chili into it. <laughs> I have 12 Thai chili. Okay, put it on the bottom like this. Alright, and now I'm going to um, pour my tom yum soup on top of the sour and spicy the seasoning that we just make in the bowl. Okay, and look at this soup. Look at all this color from the trim head and from the chili paste. This is how they make them different than the tom yum gung nam sai. And look how creamy it is. Look. If you put the evap this is the key. If you put the evaporated milk too soon, it will remove all the creamy. You have to put evaporated milk before you done. It's the last thing to put inside the hot inside the pot. Okay, so not want to talk too much now. Okay, I'm going to add the soup inside the bowl now. Okay, this is a big bowl. Okay, and look at this trim. Look at this trim. They cook perfect. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to try this. Okay, wow. Look at this trim. And the mushroom and the tomato. Oh my goodness. This is a family, everybody in Thailand, most Thai people love tom yam gung. So 
and I know a lot of you guys love Tom Yum Kung too so oh, look at this trim wow 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 and we serving in the big bowl or sometimes you can see the Thai hot pot when if you go to Thailand they will put in the Thai hot pot and they'll have the fire in the middle that will be even better okay look at the tree wow 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 okay see this top nyam kung how beautiful it is so i'm going to topping with the um kaffir lamb leaf that i saved earlier okay just gonna topping them okay put a little bit more okay all right and also that i have the fresh cilantro that i chopping okay just put the cilantro on top all right you can put uh, a lot if you like or you can use the culancho they kind of like um big long leaf a little bit a uh, taste little bit different than the normal cilantro and then very popular in thailand we call the um pak chi falang we call pak chi falang but very little bit difficult for me to find them over here so i just uh, use the normal cilantro all right and i'm going to have one last topping is um five chili okay and just put the five chili on top if you bite and chew on this five chili it will give you a smoky spicy smoky flavor make your tom yam kung even better so now i cannot even try i have a lot more in the pot and this big bowl we're gonna chat we're gonna eat three people okay so ah cannot wait to try this Okay, I'm going to mix them. This is they both tom yam kung nam khon and tom yam kung nam sai. They both be my favorite soup um, in Thailand. Okay, so now I'm going to try for you. Oh, let me. There's a lot of trim and no worry. I have more broth inside the uh, pot. Okay, and uh, look at this. How creamy and uh, beautiful with the chili paste into it. Okay, let me try just the broth first. sour spicy and they have a creamy flavor and also they have a little bit sweet that from the chili paste and from the evaporated milk so they kind of creamy and sweet they taste um, different than the tom yam kung nam sai a lot for this you can you want another spoon and another spoon for the next one i will try with the trim okay sorry this is um i going to use my hand because it's gonna be um i gonna remove the head and of course i gonna eat the head but um, I'm gonna have it with the just the uh, trim first, oh, trim and the soup. Oh, look at this! All right, I'm gonna try this trim. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Okay, and the head. I know some of you don't like to eat them, but for me, oh, the head is a heaven, heaven. Okay, I only eat the. Uh, the trim head all the time and I just how I remove I just remove like this and then I suck all <laughs> everything in the head like this oh my goodness you can remove it oh, look at this look at this uh, and how I eat I just uh I'm sorry I know it's a sour but it is so good and um, also when you eat tom yam kung like this it with your friend and family anyway so if you want to enjoy it i always enjoy it i always use my hand and i always suck on the head not not gonna miss the head okay the cameraman cannot wait to eat this already so that's why it's better for you to cook tom yam kung at home so you can enjoy everything every pieces of trim every head because sometimes when you order them from the restaurant they not um they don't have the head for you or you can it's difficult for you to use your hand and then suck on the head i know it's not it's not gonna look good for you but when you eat at home you can do whatever so that's why we enjoy it with the family and friends at home even but in thailand even if we eat outside in the restaurant nobody care they always just use their hand and enjoy it okay so i know this a lot a lot of you guys favorite uh, for the thai soup thai tom yum soup uh, creamy style or tom yum nam khon okay try to make this at home and you will enjoy a lot more because you get the fair trim and 
um, you can make the whatever flavor that you like you can put more sour or more spicy um, this is my favorite soup uh, again and again okay thank you so much you guys for watching if you like this video if you like this recipe please give me a thumb up and subscribe and you will see me for the next recipe and one more thing and don't forget to let me know if you like the tom yam kung nam sai or tom yam kung nam khon mo just leave me the link below and want to see what uh, what you guys like it more okay i like them both so okay thank you so much for watching again bye